Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for January 1st through January 7th. Now this is for the sign of Pisces. We will see what comes up. And my readings are usually love readings, but you know, we'll see. Uh, it may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled, so I'm only going to shuffle for a moment. Oh, this thing is bothering me. I will focus the camera in once I have the uh, cards laid out. Oh my gosh, it looks pretty good, don't it? Okay, so. It looks like your intuition is trying to tell you something and perhaps you're not listening to it, okay? You know, you could be getting some messages through your dreams or your thoughts and you're just ignoring them. You're brushing them off, okay? Um... You know, it feels like you, you're confused. You got some confusion going on. Which way should I go? What should I do? Should I really let this person go or should I not? Because I see that, you know, releasing something that's heavy. You know, you're thinking about releasing something or you have, but I think you're having second thoughts. You know, it feels like something has reached a stalemate. You know, it's like a road that you were on has fought, has got a boulder at the end of it and you can't move forward, okay? It's like, oh God, now what? Now which way am I going to go? You know, there's some confusion here. What am I going to do? It's like somebody has left the situation. Maybe has, somebody is no longer in your life, but you're still there, okay? You know what I mean? Because it looks like somebody has left, okay? Somebody has left the situation, has departed from your life, but you're still stuck there, okay? You're still stuck there because, you know, that's what's happening. You're still stuck. You know, you haven't taken the necessary steps, or you have, okay, can go either way. You know, it feels like you're confused. You, you want to move forward, but you can't. Okay, this is exactly what's going on. And on one hand, you want to move on, but on the other hand, you don't. And, and now it's like, geez, I'm crow. I, I, it's very, there's a lot of, there's insecure energy here where you're feeling insecure. Um, you know, you, you thought you were doing the right thing for yourself, but perhaps you weren't because here there's some, this is dishonesty. Something, um, you know, that was done wasn't the right thing. And your inner guide is trying to tell you that whatever it was, you know, something isn't right in your inner guide. Your intuition is telling you that it wasn't right. Okay, so you really need to listen to that. I want to tell you who you're dealing with here. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. We have a Libra. We have you. We have a Gemini. And we also have Taurus. We have Taurus twice. Okay, and then we have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. So prominently, we have a Taurus, but it could be any sign. So I just want to say that it really doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, I think that, you know, there was uh, some kind of break in a relationship of some sort, or maybe you thought that something was going to come to fruition and it turned out not to. Okay, with the lover's card reversed, it's like so there was a decision made, but it was the wrong one. Okay, there's a huge heaviness here. It's like... There's a heavy, heavy energy that you've been carrying around and you know that you need to do something about it, but you're not taking the action. You're not listening. You're not listening to your inner guide. I think that, you know, you wish fulfillment, your hopes and wishes um, are in a different area, but you're trying to break away from something. It's like 
you made a decision to follow your own path and to do something a certain way, but it feels like it may have, it's causing you doubt, it's causing you worry, it's making you feel um, unjustified, okay? Like you can't, this isn't, this isn't what you were hoping for. This isn't what you were looking for. I was hoping for this to work out. You know, I didn't really want to let this go. Um, and I think for many of you, it had to do with a relationship because with the hair font that, you know, that can signify as some kind of relationship. And it looks like it ended a relationship ended, you know, that. Made you feel secure. Okay, it made you feel secure and now you're feeling quite insecure because you're starting over. Now you're starting a new path and you're going down a road that you have no expertise on. You have no no um, knowledge, okay, of this new road that you're on, this new path. You know, it feels like it, there's uncertainty here, okay, and, and you wish that you still had that certainty. You could be you know, involved with a new person, but still wishing, you know, wishing that you were back where you were at, where there was certainty, where there was stability, where there was security. Now there's insecurity, okay? And it's like you're stuck. You're stuck there. It's like, oh, shit, you know? <clears throat> you were hoping to, when you, when you left the situation, you were hoping to bring peace. You were hoping to go to a better spot in your life, but it feels like, you're not there, you know, it was an injustice, all right, I see an injustice here, um, you know, it's, it, it's, there's, you know, you have to pay, pay the consequences, when the lover's card comes up in reading, even if it's re reversed, it says, be prepared to live with the consequences of your decision, it looks like, you know, there was some kind of leaving of a relationship, somebody left a relationship, and perhaps now, you know, they're starting over with somebody new, but, you know, it's like, you know, I'm not sure this is where, even where I want to be, you know. Now I have to start over. Damn it. That kind of thing. You know, but it feels like your inner guide is trying to talk to you, so you really need to listen to it. Okay? It, there's some kind of secrets here, and I feel like the secrets, you know, I don't know who you're dealing with, but there's some kind of secrets, and you know what they are, but you may be ignoring them. If your intuition is trying to tell you something about this new person or the old person, listen to it, because I feel like your intuition is really your inner guide is trying to tell you something right now as you watch this reading, before you watch this reading, and after you watch this reading that you're ignoring, okay? Your inner guide is trying to give you, you know, tell you what to do, and you're just ignoring it, all right? That's what I see. And I think one of the reasons you're ignoring it is for fear of rejection, okay? For fear of rejection, for fear of uh, disrupting the peace that you have. I feel like you may have a little bit of peace in your life, even though you're not happy about what has transpired. I think that, that you're feeling pretty peaceful and you just, you know, there's there's fears of, of rejection here. So you're not listening to your inner guide. I think there's insecurities for sure, absolutely. You know, and I think that for many of you, there was some kind of split. There was some kind of split that you're not happy about. But it feels like, you know, it was like a, you were at a dead end anyway, you know, with that. So it's, you know, there's a lot of confusing energy. There is a confusing, there is confusing energy. It's like there was, maybe you thought or they thought there was no more growth. You know, it feels like the the path, like I said, with that boulder earlier, there was a boulder at the end of the road and you couldn't go any further. There was something that was, that was um, messing with the union. But I have to tell you, the basis of this reading, the whole basis of this week is following your inner guide. Not ignoring it. Do not ignore what you're feeling. Do not ignore your thoughts. Do not ignore your intuition. Okay? It's trying to tell you something. But it, I, with this card reversed, you're ignoring it. Okay?
You're, you're ignoring your, your inner guide. Yeah. It's because somebody has left the situation. Somebody has left, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody has left the situation, and it feels like you just can't move on from it. Okay? You can't move on from it. You know, and it feels like maybe you've started over with somebody else. You know, you've started over. You've started something new. But you're confused. You're confused whether this is going to grow, what's going to happen, you know, and you have to have patience to get through this, but you're still, you still have hope. You still have hope for whatever it is you let go of. It's like the hope isn't gone. You know, you're not, you haven't completely let go of the past. There it is, okay? You haven't let go of the past you ha because you thought it fulfilled your wishes. It fulfilled your wishes in the past, but now, now it's not. So it, there's a lot of confusion here, a lot. Your inner guide is telling you what to do, all right? It's like the script has been written. With the high priestess, the script has already been written. What's meant to be is meant to be. Right now, you're just trying to bring some structure back to your life. Things are unbalanced. It's like you're feeling like things are nuts. This is nuts. Why is this happening? It feels like you don't want to look back. You don't really want to go backwards, but you can't move forwards. It's weird. Like there, that's what it is. It's like I don't. I want to move forward. I want to start over. I want to do this. This go down this new road, but I can't. You know, it's really a time to realize what you want. It's time to step back, focus, and realize what do you want? What do you want? Do you, do you want? Do you want to? My cats are fighting, I apologize. Do you want to have faith in a new, in a, in a and a new partner? Do you want to go down a new road? Because it appears that you don't. You do, but you don't. But this says you don't. It feels like you want to, but you don't. Because it feels like you had hopes, high hopes for something else. And now, it's it, this week, it's, it's time to realize, what do you want? Do you want... To go back or do you want to move forward? Seriously, that's the question. It feels like you're kind of worried about what everybody's going to say. Okay, that's an issue here. Society, neighbors, uh, brothers, sisters, whatever. You know, it feels like I'm kind of, I, I, if I go back, what's everybody going to say? Pride is in the way. Okay, pride is definitely in the way. You know, but the fact of the matter is, a door closed, and I feel like, you know, it closed, but perhaps, you know, at the time, that's what you wanted, but now you don't. You know what I mean? I, there's a lot of confusion here, wishy-washy. Definitely wishy-washy, going back and forth, especially with this reverse and this upright, you know. A lot of going back and forth. What is it that I want? My guide, my inner guide is telling me something, telling me to do this. But then the other, you know, on one side is telling me to move on and do this. But that could be ego. And the other side is saying, damn. My security was there. You know, so it feels like, you know, if you want to move forward, you're going to have to have patience and you're going to have to follow your own path and you're going to have to um, really let go 
of the past. I really, really, really let it go, which I don't think you have yet. Okay, to fulfill your wishes in the future, you have to really let go of whoever this is, and this is a person, that you are hanging on to, if you can. And if you can't, you need to realize that, okay? There is potential for a fresh new start. There is, but pride is in the way. Whether it's with a new person or an old person, there's potential for a new start, but you're not listening to your inner guide. You're not. I think your inner guy is telling you all kinds of things and you're confused. I'm going to get the other deck. It's definitely, you're not, you're like, you need to make a decision and you're not making it. Like I said, realizing and making a decision. You have to realize what it is you want this week and make the decision. It's time to make a decision. Right now you're feeling insecure. And I think it's because somebody has left your life and you're not so sure about it. You know, you're not so sure about it. And I think on one hand, you know, you're ready to start over. You don't want to go back. But on the other hand, it's like, man, I just can't let go. The answers lie within you, okay? So that's the basis of your reading. If you're wondering, if you're wondering, if, you're, if you are hearing all these messages, which I believe you are, whether they're in your dreams, in your thoughts, whatever, your intuition is trying to tell you something, go with it. That is the basis of your reading. Listen to your inner guide. It is telling you what to do. It's trying to get you to realize that it's talking to you. Open your eyes and listen to your inner guide. It is telling you which route to take. That one fell out. Express love through gifts. I'm going to read it too because... Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. This is good advice. A gift is visible evidence of your loving thoughts. A gift does not need to be expensive. Showing someone your favorite place, sharing a favorite song, or writing a note of gratitude are all gifts. This lets the receiver you intend this for know that you care. Express your love through gifts. This is telling me that you need to express your love. Stop holding it in. Whatever your guides, your inner guide is telling you to do, do it. Right now, your wishes are not being fulfilled where you're at. And that's why you're so confused. It's like somebody has left the situation... And you don't know what to do. You're stuck there. It's time to realize, what do you want? What is it that you want? Think about it. Listen to your inner guide. And take action. So, this is what I have for you. Talk to you later.